Yeah, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, you missed out on a chance to experience some sexy Dota from the caster desk, but... So they had to bring out a second one, so... It took them a long time to open access for this camp mid lane. Oh, mid Ooh, one, and all kinds of trouble. He will eat the tree. Ana trying to cut him off for that uphill auto attack. He finds it. Oh, it's not really a fair fight for the harass here to S4. MP looking for the first hit. Bash Ooh, actually doesn't need it. The heal bump does it. Secret finding a kill up top. Well played by them. Anything really surprise you? Oh, bottom lane. Depths are going to find the Impale here. And meanwhile, a decent torn by Jerex. Looking to turn the tides, but that Nyx able to run him down. Now they X Kezu. They have some decent charges on Soul Assumption here, but it is only level one. So Fly's going to have to disengage. The stun comes through. Secret looking for a bit more. The Gush again combining with that Anchor Smash. Secret's dual lane popping off. They find. Obviously, we all know what he can do with our Spirit and Tusk. This is a relatively quiet start. This was talked about the Battle of the Fours so far. Yapsor having the better of this matchup, but that may change as Jerex is mid with the Dream Coil. Oh, this is tough for mid one, at least for now. Ana engaging onto him, but the Torrent's not going to connect. Mid one outplays him, and now Ana's going to go down. A drought lineup just shows you how crucial that turnaround play in the mid lane was, and they get eyes on Jerex. Yapsor, though, unfortunately, has been scouted out. They're going to torrent him. Orb committed, but he's able to heal up, survives through this initial damage. The rotation comes in again. It's Puppy saving the day. Apparently, Yapsor needs his nose bloodied more often because he is stepping up his game here. Oh, yeah, Puppy tucked in the trees, hiding for now, and instead they will sweep around towards mid, looking for an opening. Uh, the, the neutral itself, so I think he's an, uh, he's the player that will get value out of this item where other players might not. OG on the smoke, they might have an opening here, but the knight has fallen in mid one. Worst possible position for him, he'd fall down to the low ground and right into the entire enemy squad. He gets pulled back by the X, the timing's not right, and OG will easily clean him up. And indeed, on top of that, but crap, gives a little love tap to one of those. And will it be a costly love tap? Carapace coming out, good phase shift dodge there, continuing to be on point is Ana, and now the Bruce Blick committed. Nice grave by Puppy, buys Yapsor time, but that might be it. There's the X to turn things around, the boat crashes through, hits the tide, but he does have the hood available. They're committing a lot for this follow-up. Perhaps Ana's in too far, he wants to orb away, look to turn the fight, and still patiently waiting. Kezu just has to find the opening for the rabbit here. Finally, it comes through right as the Bruce split ends. Do they have the follow-up damage? That's the question. They bring down Noto. They look for more. Locking Fly down again. Dropping rapidly on the Visage. And now Jerex on the retreat. Good slow there from MP. Surging forward. There's not a whole lot of control for him right now. The Brooblings passed him. S4 won't be able to offer a whole lot as MP gets that kill. And now with the Battle Trance can help secure the follow-up. Mid one's there. Finding a fourth. Looking for the fifth. But Ana is going to be too elusive. In fact, he might try to go on Kezu. Kezu, no hook for a little while. Don't want to look who's, carapace. Guess who's back? Back again. It's the yeah, Epsor, and there is a sentry waiting. So keep more windows where they just hit like some key levels where they get big boost in damage, like this is having level 2 ultimate. Brumat's at his level 2 ulti. Oh, that's is big, big jump in the mid lane. Mid one completely whipping on the first ball lightning, but the follow-up was there. And now deploying a volley of nukes on Ana. They look to focus him down. The heal bomb from Puppy does a lot. The boat very ineffective as Kezu now has a completed pipe and secret. Look up. Nyx ready to engage. This is potential dieback too. So no tail. Oh, yeah, and, and a lot of trouble. S4 is going to go down top. Perhaps just Roche if they want to run right there. Peru does not have buyback. They know it's a dieback here, so if they just march and the Ghost Scepter will help protect you against those overload charges. Trying to get a little cheeky here, OG, with the X plays to ensure Ana's safe retreat, but secret, like no finesse required. Just Brute forcing the Roche right now. Battle Trance committed. Five Perhaps for looking for the Roche steal, Ana. Thinking about the jump in, will he have the opening? Not yet, the, but the birds come in. Ana jumps through, the Aegis on the deck. The Roshan claimed though by the Dire. The Aegis there as well. It was a gambit by OG, perhaps a desperation one. It does not pay off. And now the chase is on secret. Hounding No-Tail on the retreat. These remnants are gonna hurt even with the Ghost Scepter. They won't make it out. Mid one crashing through the back lines. 18 Bloodstone charges. Lickety split, just like that. He gets eyes on S4. Storm Mono pull pretty good right now with the 18 Bloodstone charges back to full. I think they're calling for this jump on S4 as he rotates in. First they're gonna deal with the pump, and then they can cut off S4 at the pass if they wanna jump in, but uh, no need for that. The rest of the team says, let's just take this out for a pickoff into a higher ground push. Sure, we'll take it, but if we can't do anything with this 
with this advantage of ours for now, we'll just keep farming. Look who it is again. It's the Absor in position. This time, though, OG are ready. He takes the courier down with him. Maybe the reinforcements arrive in time. Not quite. Kezu was in the neighborhood mid, but nope. The X by Jerex. Not something that's OG looked to follow up. And now Secret falling up again in the middle lane. Uh, potential with this invis room, but the rest of the team smoking up. They'd love to try and burst Radiant's Dazzle and Nyx first. MP also in position to break this. He's got a blink if he's quick, but as you mentioned, Ana coming from behind could be a huge coil. Big opportunity. They jump Puppy early, trying to bring him down. Quickly, they pop the smoke up the sea to try to disengage Secret. So cycloning the uh, Tidehunter up in the air, keeping him out of position for now while they focus on No-Tail Secret. Try to bring him down, but the Ghost Scepter does a decent amount to keep him alive. X coming through as well. Not very effective in this particular case. Down goes No-Tail, and now as the Bruce split ends, Perhaps we see that ball chase. Mid one's still a healthy mana pull. 20 charges for him. Jumping towards Ana if he can get the pull. Ana's in a lot of trouble. Does manage to do it. S4 there with the three hero clap connection. But they need the follow-up stuns to come out from fly. Chasing forward on the X with the carapace well timed. And could put the Visage in harm's way. Jumping in again. Mid one, he's got a little too much regen for OG to deal with. Now turning back for fly. The impales there from Secret just outlasting them. Superior stamina for Secret down the stretch. They'll find three. They fight their way right through the big team fight combo. They try and keep eyes on him between the gem, the sentries, the dust, and he's still getting kills on top of that. And as well as limiting their farm. He completely shut down this, this drought ranger. And without top lane able to do well, it meant OG are in a tough spot. Another smoke coming out. This could be really the, the last hurrah in some ways from OG. Barring a big fight. Yeah, they need this fight to go well. If Storm somehow wins this one as well. He's got a regen oh, no. bottle. He's in prime opportunity to make big plays. Mid one jumping in, starts the party, gets the first kill, and now turning to the Visage. Nice stun from the low ground. Make it two, gem down as well. Familiar is even in danger. An MP hunting through the trees. Looks for No-Tail Ghost Scepter. Perhaps the savior. Balling in mid one has no electric vortex to lock him down, but 15,000 gold. All red. The net worth bar. Oh, well. That's all the, secret at this point. Yeah, the gem swing is my mind. Oh, I'm feeling the desperation now. Walks right into a carapace and right into his own demise. Even the courier is getting on the action and it's got a Yule Scepter too. Ouch. That's a costly pickoff. And OG are crumbling in front of the onslaught presented by Secret. They find another. It's one to the next to the next. No till. Pop in the shrine and trying to run. Not going to make it very far. The Bruce Flint easily dealt with. They yeah, have had enough. Secret come out. All guns up in here in M1. No racks down, but completely wiped. I think a lot of other teams other than OG called that one even earlier, but OG, one of the best.